Thanks for stopping by. This is Dan Bell of Bell Certified. We're continuing to discuss the MPEP at 706.02F1. We've completed the nine examples and now I'm going to discuss the two flow charts uh, that are at the end of that section. And we're going to apply a few references that we find to the flow chart so you'll understand how to use this flow chart. Um, this is flow chart one and uh, there's a flow chart uh, number two. These are the two flow charts that um, we will use uh, when we do our uh, uh, processes, uh, whether they be litigation processes or patent prosecution processes. These are the flow charts we use to determine whether or not uh, references um, have valid 102 e dates. Uh, the first flow chart covers all applications and patents whenever filed and the second flow chart um, covers WIPO publications of international applications. So there's three events. There's uh, under flow chart one there's a US patent that issues or a US patent that publishes. Under flow chart two there's a 102 event which is a publication uh, of a WIPO uh, application and uh, under certain conditions some of these uh, references uh, will be can be applied under 102e and that's the purpose of this flow chart this flow chart is meant to uh, provide all of the examples uh, that you can use to determine uh, whether or not a reference has a 102e date and if so what that date is and so we can start by looking at this flow chart uh, the purpose of the examples is to give you an idea of the law behind that, but this is what we'll use in practice. It first says, it, now remember this, so, so far all we know is we have a U.S. patent or a U.S. patent application publication, right? And that, that includes all, uh, that's all the examples for this. And then it says, is the reference a US, U.S. patent or U.S. application publication of an international application after national stage entry? Um, if yes, if it's a patent or a publication after national stage entry, uh, then we, we go down to this um, uh, area of the, uh, of the chart and we, uh, we ask this next section. So one of the things I'll try to do uh, over here on the right is to show you some examples of patents so you can figure out how to read them to figure out if they're a national stage entry. Or the other um, kind of uh, application that re relies on an international application which is a benefit or priority claim or uh, just a plain US patent or application publication that has no international uh, dates in its uh, in its uh, priority claim. So uh, once we've once we learn how to figure out whether or not it's a national stage entry then we ask was the international application filed on or before November 29th 2000 that's the date we've come to become aware of in the examples and in the reading materials. Um, if it's uh, on or after yes then we ask was the WIPO publication of the international application in English and did the international application designate the United States. So we have to be able to answer this question that'll be one of the other things we use the examples for. Um, if it did uh, then we uh, for a patent and a US application publication not sure why this is flashing down here. I want some attention. Um, the uh, 102E date is the international filing date or an earlier filing date for which a benefit is properly sought. Uh, that's the example um, where if there's a US application earlier in the family uh, that's their properly sought. That's what that means. Uh, on this side, if it, it was if it was it, it, no, meaning that it was not filed on or <clears throat> after November 29th, that means that uh, it was filed uh, on November 28th or before. Then for the patent, we look for the 102 uh, uh, e date is a 371 C two, C124 date. So I'll need to show you in these examples how to find that. And then for a U.S. application, there is no U uh, 102 e date for the old 102 e, and so we're stuck using, uh, as it says here, the 102 A and B uh, dates. 
And then on this side, if you have a, uh, is, is the reference, back to the top here for a moment, if, is the reference a U.S. patent or U.S. application publication of an international application after national stage entry? If the answer is no, if there either, either is no international application in the, in the prior history or it's, uh, it's not a national stage entry, if there is one, then it's a benefit claim, right? That's over on this side. It says, is there an international application in the continuing chain for which a benefit is properly sought via 120 or 365? Uh, if that's true, then we was the international application filed on or after November 29th? Look at the international filing date, and if so, was the WIPO publication of the international application in English, and did it designate the U.S.? If so, then it, uh, the for, for a patent and a uh, application publication, one of two e date is the international filing date, or an earlier date for which a benefit is properly sought. Um, back up to here. If there's if there's no international application in the family, then it's just a plain Jane uh, U.S. application, and so no inter international application involved. The reference was f uh, filed under uh, 111A and only claims benefit to other U.S. applications filed under 111A or 111B or does it not make any benefit claims. Uh, the 102E date in that case is the earliest U.S. filing date for which uh, a benefit is properly sought via a 119E, which is the provisional uh, uh, application priority, or 120, which is a non-provisional. Uh, and we do not consider foreign priority claims under a 119A. And then um, uh, over here, if if the what if it is if there is an international uh, claim in the family, uh, was that uh, on or after? Uh, if it's no, if it's before that date, November 28th or before, then the 102A date is a C124 date and there is no date for the application. Um, if the, uh, and over here, if the, um, if the white publication was not in English um, uh, or didn't, didn't designate the U.S., uh, then um, uh, the 102A date is the following date of the U.S. application that claimed the benefit of the international application. So the, what these numbers are here is these are a, uh, a tool we're going to use uh, to understand where you ended up. So in the, whole, in the assignment, I'm going to give you an application and you're going to need to uh, traverse these, um, these, what I call, these are trees, if you will. Uh, and find yourself to the right leaf. This leaf is th is the one leaf. Here's the two leaf, the three leaf, four leaf, and so on. And so, uh, in addition to finding your uh, what an application is, you'll have to find yourself down the correct leaf. Uh, and so you'll you'll be able to, you'll need to determine the 102 e dates if there are them, what they are, what those dates are, and what leaf you ended up in the tree. And that's how we'll verify that you're under beginning to understand this. Now let's look at the second flow chart. Now this flowchart is only for the WIPO uh, publication itself. WIPO does publish. And so w for this uh, chart, if you do have a WIPO publication, it's possible that you, um, you know, under the new uh, 102E that, um, uh, you know, that for, for whatever reason, uh, um, you'll need to use the WIPO publication itself. And so that would be the document you would submit to the lawyer and say, here's a WIPO publication. And then it has a 102E date under uh, some cases, some circumstances, and not under others. And that's what these additional three leaves are, 9 through 11 uh, of this tree. Let's look at this now. Was the international application filed on or after November 29, 2000? You just look at the international filing data. If yes, was the WIPO publication in English and did it designate the U.S.? If so, then the 102A date is the f international filing date or an earlier filing date for which a benefit is properly sought. For example, though, an international application um, can properly s seek a uh, benefit claim uh, to an earlier PCT or a provisional or a U uh, U.S. provisional or a U.S. Uh, non-provisional. And as long as there's 112 support there, and uh, then you c then you could get that earlier date also. Um, that's uh, leaf number nine, if you will. And then over here we have um, uh, if if it's uh, November 28th or before. Um, um, 
Uh, let's read the question again. Was the international application filed on or after November 28, 2000? If the answer is no, then there's no 102E date for the publication, right? We've learned that the old 102E uh, didn't give you any, um, it didn't have a 102E date. The publication, the white bill publication didn't have a 102E date. That's what this is saying. References prior to this publication date under 102A or B, no matter what the language uh, of of publication was. Uh, a publication, regardless of its language, is always going to be a, a 102 uh, E date, or I'm sorry, a, a and B date, but here there's no E date. And then over here, um, if the, uh, uh, so this would be the, now if the patent issued, right, if it, if it was a national stage, if this WIPO publication went national stage in the U.S. and issued into a patent, then we'd be in the other tree, right? Because that patent would be a national stage entry. We'd be branching left in that other tree. This is just the this is just for the WIPO publication. And so let's look here. Was the WIPO publication of the international application in English and did it designate the U.S.? Both of those need to be true. If either is false, then there's no 102 e date. And the reference again is applied under A or B. So the only the only um, as of its publication date. So the only uh, 102e date we get for an international uh, application is if it's if it's on or after November 29th and it is um, this leaf load 9 and it's um, uh, published by WIPO in English and designates the US then then the publication itself has a, uh, a 102a effect um, and you can get back to the international uh, filing date. These other two leaves have no uh, 102e effect. And so that's a review of the claim charts or the flow charts, and uh, I'll be back in a moment, um, and we'll discuss some of these these patents over here on the right. Uh, Dan Bell, Bell certified. Uh, chat with you soon.